Are you guys ready for the next soap collection? Well, I don't think any amount of time could prepare you for the makeup look you're about to be served. Welcome everyone to the very first video in the Wild Summer Collection. Woo! Hello everyone, my name is Katie Carson. I am the Duchess of Suds here at Royalty Soaps and for the next month we are going to be making soaps inspired by all things late 80s and early 90s childhood summer. I'm talking popsicles, I'm talking fruity cereal, I'm talking all the best snacks, I'm talking going to camp with your friends and going out to the beach and barbecues and s'mores. It's gonna be epic. This collection is the one I have been waiting for all year long. It's my favorite one. It will probably be my favorite one. It's the one that I had the most inspiration. I did like 10 designs for this collection in a matter of like six hours. I knew exactly what I wanted to capture. I'm legit so excited. And I want to start it off with a bang. So today's video is sponsored by Rakuten and they're partnering with me to give you guys a hundred dollars cash. Yes. Hooray. A hundred dollars. We're starting off May right. I know 2020 has been a little rough but we're gonna make the most of it we're gonna be happy we're gonna be inspired we're gonna win some cash Rakuten gives you online rebates from all of your favorites including Amazon eBay Walmart Target they're partnered with everybody who matters and it's basically free money you install the browser extension and whenever you go to one of your favorite stores I'm picking Target because I'm obsessed with their outdoor things right now a little pop-up comes down and it's like hey do you want cash back and you're like oh, of course I I want cash back. Who doesn't? You click the button, it refreshes the page, and voila! More money back in your pocket. It's literally that easy. They send you a check in the mail quarterly. I've been using them for almost three years now. I get checks every single quarter. So to enter the giveaway, you only have to do two things. One, you have to have a Rakuten account set up so you can go sign up using the link down below. If you already have a Rakuten account, don't worry, you can skip on to step two, which is to enter the giveaway. It's set up very similar to a Rafflecopter giveaway. Really, really easy to enter. And at the end of the giveaway, Rakuten will reach out to one lucky winner to gift them $100 Visa Cash. Woohoo! Let's get the summer started off right! Thank you so much to Rakuten for sponsoring today's video. You guys know I have talked about them a lot in the past. I legit love them. It is sponsors like Rakuten that help keep royalty soaps alive in YouTube land. That AdSense has been wonky this year and Rakuten is making up the deficit. So we're really, really grateful for them. Seriously, you guys install the browser if you shop online. It, but why wouldn't you? It's just free money. Also just gonna throw a shameless plug out there for for my own shop, Royalty Soaps. If you like handmade bath and body products, they are available right now at royaltysoaps.com. The Flora Fantasy Collection is what is currently available. And if you're interested in the Wild Summer Collection, which we will be making this month, it will be available on June, June 6th. <laughs> be available on June 6th. Set your alarms. And without further ado, let us make Lucky Charms Inspired Soap, other words known as Sweet Dreams. Welcome friends to Late Night Soaping with Katie, the part of the show where Katie comes out at nighttime and is crazy. I'm not gonna be too terrifically crazy, but it will probably get a little weird. Just be forewarned. I'll give you three guesses for what we're going to do first. What was that? Did you say melt the soap base in the microwave? <laughs> what channel are you on? This isn't Blossom, okay? Not that there's anything wrong with melt and pour. That's just not what we primarily do here. And the Royal Court members will know that. If you want to be a Royal Court member, you just have to subscribe. <laughs> That's all there is to it. I started calling anyone who wanted to watch me make soap soap, which, how are there more than two people? I don't know. I started calling them the royal court when I was like 17 and obsessed with all things UK and Britain and the queen and royalty. And it stuck and here we are and now I'm like every other YouTuber on the whole planet that's like, hi there my squishy doll faced heroes, welcome back. Let's blend this up with our stick blender until just past emulsion or emulsion for those of y'all who remember the OG days.
Oh man, this is at such a nice consistency. My lye and oils are sitting right at about 89 degrees Fahrenheit, and that's a really good temperature for working with my soap recipe, which of course you can find for free down in the description box below if you too would like to make some soap. Now I've got to pour this bucket equally into five containers, and so kablam! All five containers are filled. Now this soap is layered and it's pastel. So I'm going to add colors in one at a time so nothing gets too thick too fast. Starting with Blue Tide. Perhaps I should show you the soap design. So you see here I have five layers and you can also see what I based the embeds on top on. That's right, classic Lucky Charms marshmallows. Let us begin by adding in our colors. First is Blue Tide from Mad Micah's. Add some TD in there. I love how nicely TD comes out of containers. It leaves like nothing left. Little bit of fragrance oil. The fragrance oil is Energy by Brambleberry and it smells like gummy sweet tarts. I tried to find a Lucky Charm scent, but all of them discolored to brown. So let's blend this up real quick. It's perfect. Let's pour it into our mold. So I'm gonna pour pretty close and pretty slowly so as to avoid avoid wow so as to avoid adding extra air bubbles so this is the consistency of like water <laughs> i'm gonna have to wait a minute for this to set up before i can texture it and so we can move on to the next layer all right got a little bit of texture going on here so i'm just mashing this little spoon this was a kitchen spoon now it's not <laughs> all over the place, just giving it a light, bumpy texture. Let's pull the next layer. This next layer looks so nasty. I know, it does, I'm not gonna lie. It totally does, but it won't after it sits for 24 hours. This is green vibrance, Micah. It always looks like this. It always looks like the ugliest green until it sits for 24 hours and then it looks perfect. All right, let's do the same thing on this layer. I blended this layer a little longer so I wouldn't be standing around waiting to texture it. I'm impatient, but also I don't want my batch to set up so quickly that it's hard to pour the next layer on in a timely manner without get getting like super thick. Now I already know there's going to be a lot of people in the comment section who are like, Katie, are you going to make a rainbow soap this year? If you guys haven't been around for long, I make a rainbow soap every year. I've been doing it for a really long time. I typically release it in the summer because the colors all are all fun and summery. Um, I don't have one lined up for this summer. I'll, I'll tell you why. It is not a complicated answer. I'm just kind of sick of making them. You know, I've been making soap for, <laughs> this is gonna sound like I'm ancient, I've been making soap for almost 10 years, okay? And I've made like seven or eight rainbow soaps. I'm already seeing them pop up in my Instagram feed. I know a lot of soap makers are already gonna be making them for the summertime. It's kind of a saturated market thing. I, I feel like I wanna put one out maybe in the autumnal months when they're not, again, in the market as much. It's not as saturated, but I don't know. I'm just kind of sick of looking at them. That's why I made this one because I don't do many pastel soaps and it just really appealed to me because I don't do it that often. It's just like I didn't put out a gingerbread village soap last year. I had made it for like three years in a row and I just wanted a break. So as far as it being available and lots of them being in the shop, no, it's not scheduled, but maybe I'll do one in fall. Maybe I'll do like a dark rainbow or something. Like do all the muted colors. Don't worry though, cause like I said, everybody else is gonna be making one. I'm not having one, but that doesn't mean that every single other soap shop in Christendom <laughs> won't have one. Oh, here comes tangerine. This is made with orange vibrance and the yellow was made with true yellow from TKB. I do not use any other yellow because I just find that that yellow works the best for me in my soaps. And honestly, you guys, this 
is an important month for me. As many of you already know, we have a lot of family birthdays and in the Emerald Soap, I listed off absolutely everyone who's having a birthday and I accidentally missed Pollyanna. My sister Pollyanna's birthday is on May 8th. So we have Kenny and then Moses and then Simeon and then Polly and then Emmy and then mine and Caleb's anniversary. So there's a lot of people in May celebrating something. But this month is also really important because my mom does homeschool and our homeschool always ended in the third week of May, right around the, the 23rd-ish. And thus began, you know, all the summer festivities, all the summer fun. And when I was designing this collection, worldwide shutdowns obviously had not happened. I designed the majority of this collection in January, so that was not on my radar at all. But what was on my radar was nostalgia. I just started thinking about like some of my happiest childhood memories and country time summers are really idyllic. They're beautiful. And my parents um, moved us out to the countryside in a little town called Poetry. Yes, the li literally the name is Poetry. Um, when I was about 14. So I still got to spend my young teenage years out there with tire swings and watermelon patches. We had a little above ground pool and popsicles and bare feet and wildflowers. And I mean, just every movie you've ever seen about a quintessential American child summer. I had many years and I'm beyond blessed to have experienced that. So some of my happiest memories that I sort of wanted to recreate in soap and help other people feel through the design of our labels and the designs of the bars and the website was just the pure unbridled happy joy of summer. Final layer. Oh yeah, also my birthday is in the summertime, so I'm sure that adds to just <laughs> the happiness of it for me. But among the happy things of summertime, I feel for a lot of kids, because I knew many kids whose parents did this, was having the right to eat sugar cereal. My mom did not buy sugar cereal regularly. I mean, she had a lot of kids and cereal expensive and sugar cereal is even more expensive but she didn't want us eating that junk all the time but my favorite cereal was Lucky Charms and my dad who loves sugar cereal like that is one of the favorite things he gets from kids for his birthday because you know it's three or four dollars a box and most little kids who want to buy a present have you know three or four bucks sitting around we buy him cereal because he loves it so much and his favorite is lucky charms he loves lucky charms so it really brings back a lot of memories for me to have lucky charms cereal in the pantry in the morning we were only allowed to have one bowl and it was perfect. It was perfect. Now I'm just going to swirl this top, not because there's anything, you know, pretty or anything on top. It's just to give it a little bit of texture. And, um, right. So as we were saying, my dad loves Lucky Charms. So I designed the Lucky Charms embeds on top with my sister Shelly. She's the one that makes our embeds here at Royalty Soaps now. And we were very meticulous about the colors. She had to mix a lot of different colors to get it to look exactly exactly right. And we actually base them on the older looking Lucky Charms. So all the new Lucky Charms, I'll throw up a picture now for you to see. They've got like a rainbow and a unicorn. There's a little bit more going on with them, but the old Lucky Charms were a solid color. And that's the type my mom and my dad were talking about from the late 80s, sort of mid 80s, whenever they were teenagers. So I designed them on the retro looking Lucky Charms. My dad is extremely excited about this soap. Another thing that's funny about my dad is he likes all of my super fruity sort of dessert inspired soaps. I know a lot of men prefer fragrances like sandalwood and patchouli and things like that. And my dad is a very masculine Southern gentleman, but I can tell you what, the man would bathe with a blueberry muffin if you would let him. Where's my grin? Oh, I found it. Okay. 
I'm gonna put this grid on because the next thing we're putting on is the embeds. Now, of course, I couldn't find the exact shapes of Lucky Charms marshmallows, but I found something really similar that are also a similar size. And we colored them as close as possible to Lucky Charms marshmallows. Like we literally had a box of Lucky Charms marshmallows that my dad had. This was Shelly and I a couple of weeks back. And we were like, oh, pardon me, sir. Can we borrow a few of your marshmallows? because <laughs> we have to color match them. So we're gonna put some little embeds onto each bar, just like this. Oh my gosh. <laughs> they don't all have to like face the same way or anything. I always say that and then it always looks exactly the same. There, right there. These two are different. We cannot say that this time. <laughs> But everybody's getting three. That's the main thing. This is going to be a very time consuming soap to put together because that's a lot of embeds, especially for something that has 52 bars. So it's like placing 150 embeds by hand. You guys are going to be here a while and I'm certainly going to be here a while. But here's the good thing is that I can place one embed per bar to mark where that bar is. And then I can place the rest on without the grid and that will move things along pretty quick. So I should also mention that this month's theme is going to be loosely inspired on 1990s and 1980s summer fashion and things. Because when I was a kid, it was very early 2000s and late 90s. I was born in 1994, Kenny was born in 1997. So early 2000s mainly, but because I sort of have some retro things going on, I wanted to throw it back even further. And I asked my mom tons of questions about 1980s summer fashion. And she told me all about how surfing and skateboarding were just starting to come into style and that California and Beverly Hills were starting to become like really sought after fashion inspirations. And as we were talking about this, we were like, you know what? I wanna listen to some of the throwback songs to inspire me when creating the mood board. And so she wrote down on a piece of paper all of the songs that people her age in high school looked at as summer anthems. And we're actually going to put together, this is so cool, I'm so glad we thought about doing this. We're actually going to put together a Spotify playlist for you guys to get you in the vintage sort of summer mood. And I'm going to ask everybody in the Royalty Soaps family to contribute at least one song to the playlist. So we're going to include all of our favorite summer songs. I will absolutely 100% have some One Direction songs in there. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. It's just, it's such a driving in your Jeep with the top down and your girlfriends type music for me. I, I can't, I can't leave it out. I will be really interested to see what Caleb contributes to this because uh, boy doesn't really like um, summer songs. I think I sidetracked myself earlier when I was talking, but I wanted to say this collection is important because when I feel so strongly about a collection and there are certain collections I feel more of a connection to than others. Obviously they're all coming from my imagination. So I'm somewhat connected to all of them, but some of them really just, I just want to convey a feeling to you guys so badly. And so it's really important to me that I do a good job um, portraying it in the way I design everything and the way that boxes sh get shipped out and all that because I want you to open it up and be like, yes, I feel my childhood summer in this box. Okay, I have all of those original embeds on so I can remove the grid and we will start placing these a lot faster. <laughs> I want this collection to be every happy thing you did during your summertime. And maybe, maybe you're younger than I am. Maybe you're younger than 25 and you're still in high school and you're still having a magical summertime. I want you to feel carefree with these videos this month. We've had a rough 2020, okay? Like there's hardly been any of us who've just had a completely carefree time. It's just been a little worrisome and stressful. And I want us all to just take a break from that and relish the summertime, relish the beach 
and the smells that are associated with summer like watermelon and popsicles and things like that. I want to take your mind off of everything busy and everything crazy and everything that's yeah that's stressful and I just want to de-stress with you guys in these videos and I want for these soaps for you to just take you away to a magical summer fantasy world where the only thing you have to worry about is which bathing suit you are wearing with your friends to the beach. Before I made this video tonight, I opened up an email from a girl who had sent it to me who was in the hospital. She was just telling me that watching my soap videos and hearing my perspective on things and hearing about my family had really cheered her up during a time that would otherwise have been quite lonely. And I can tell you what, guys, that is why I do what I do. Obviously, some of what I do, I do because, hey, I have to make a living, but most of what I'm doing is because I really just want you guys to feel loved on, to feel happy and excited and accepted, and for some of the joy that I have for my life to rub off on you and for both of us together to make the best of all circumstances that come our way, because it's not always going to be a happy fun time, but we can choose to have happy attitudes, that's for sure. Man alive, I thought I was going to be crazy cuckoo nutballs in this video, but it turns out I've actually gotten sappy and sentimental. <laughs> It seems like it only goes one of two ways. Either I'm an absolute clown or I'm like, wait, I want to help you guys feel happy and loved. And then I get all mushy and I'm sorry. I'm sorry I'm being a mush bucket. We will get back to regular programming as soon as I can pull myself <laughs> together. I will say about these teardrops that I'm putting in, the blue color was actually a bit more of like a light royal blue um, for the original ones. And this blue color is based on the blue in the modern rainbow marshmallow. So I know that's not entirely accurate, but it's the same blue that I used in the bottom layer of this soap. And so I thought, hey, I'll pull it all together. I'll put a little pop of one of the modern marshmallows and we'll call it good. You know, talking about my dad and his like major love of cereal reminded me that he's never been on the channel before. He's not much of an actor, but He's also never made soap before, so I wonder if I should get him on here and have him make his first batch of soap on camera. I could sit there and be a tour guide. That might be kind of fun. Yo, guys, let me know what you think. Would you like to see my dad make some soap on the channel? Would that interest you? Do you want to meet him? He's got some wacky stories. I tell you, at one of his jobs, they used to call him Forrest Gump because he had done so much much. He has been to so many places. He's a super, super interesting person to talk to. He is absolutely the type of person who will talk to anybody in the grocery store. <laughs> glitter time! Where's my glitter? I found it! You guys know I can use nothing but holographic glitter. I like a slightly larger hex size of glitter. They have some smaller sort of microfine glitter at Nurture Soap and Wholesale Supplies Plus, and those work super well. They're definitely holographic, but Brambleberry is the only company who makes this larger, eco-friendly size of holographic glitter. I don't know why, but they are. So I'm going to get a little bit on my makeup brush and we are going to dust the top with it. Oh yes, that really brings it to the next level. In fact, next time I may put the glitter on first and then put the embeds on. That way the embeds really stand out because I can see the glitter is really becoming the star of the show when I kind of meant for it to enhance it. So um, I'll probably put it on first next time but all the same glitter is fabulous it is necessary it really helps this pop la, 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 la. make sure I get all those edges really good one last little shake here tap 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 and that's it fam we're done with sweet dreams wow just wow um I want to eat it <laughs> I am super delighted with how this turned out. I cannot wait to split it and see those pastel layers. This might be one of the first, if not the only pastel layer soap I've ever done. So I hope I added enough titanium dioxide to make it actually pastel. We'll have to see in 18 to 24 hours when we come back to split this slab into loaves and cut these loaves into bars after, hopefully, this quick commercial break. <laughs> Thank you. 
goodness. You guys are about to witness a paranormal color morph. I did not expect it. It was not supposed to happen. <laughs> But it did. Let me show you what I'm talking about. I will line up my soap real quick with Natasha and then we will get into the craziness that is Cosmic Carolyn in a cold process soap. Cosmic Carolyn, if you don't remember, is the top color that we use for the pink. It is one of my favorite pinks, if not the favorite pink. No, it's, it's definitely my favorite pink of all time. But sometimes it's got a little attitude. Let me show you. First of all, the inside of this soap is precious. It is precious and perfect, but let me zoom you in a little closer so that you, what, what is this? What is this? Well, I'll tell you, it's Cosmic Carolyn looking orange, but it will turn pink. That's right. As it sits, it only takes about 10 minutes. Sucker will turn pink. It's just oxidizing with the air, but that looks orange. That is orange and it totally freaked me out. And some of the bars are even worse than the others. Like this just looks like I added a completely new layer right here between the pink and the orange. <laughs> but let me show you something weirder. It gets weirder. After it oxidizes, this is what it looks like. What is going on? It's the same layer. It's the same layer. My only thing that I think could have happened is that this half of the layer gelled and this half didn't. So now it looks like there's what? Like seven layers in there? There's not. <laughs> I feel like this is gonna be the only batch that that happens in, but even so, it is definitely a paranormal color morph. This soap is just downright delightful. Why did I wait so long to make a Lucky Charm soap? I don't know. There's no logical explanation for such behavior, but now that it's here, I never want it to leave. Y'all, we're about to get real controversial with this question of the day. It's the very first soap of Wild Summer, and I'm gonna kick it off with a wacky question of the day. All right, question is, which one's better, tricks or Lucky Charms? For me, it's not even a question. Lucky Charms, hands down. It's Lucky Charms, folks, but I know I had tons of people. I know, this is messed up. It won't be like this in the future. I'm just really bad at placing embeds with that specific in <laughs> that embed grid. We need to tighten it up and make it better. I know there's gonna be a lot of people who are like, tricks are my entire childhood. How dare you insult me thus? I'm sorry, you're just wrong. <laughs> so to vote on the question of the day, all you have to do is click the eye in the upper right hand corner of the screen. Try to keep those comments clean and civil, folks. Try not, try not to just... <laughs> I'm laughing because the idea of someone getting angry in the comments because someone else likes a different cereal is too much. Keep it classy down there, folks. Keep it classy. <laughs> when you're so excited, you don't even know what to say. Thanks, guys, so much for watching today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you have any recommendations you would like to see me make on the channel, leave them down below. I do pay attention. I do listen to you guys, and I try to make soaps that a lot of people would like to see. You can also send me in designs at the email listed below or the P.O. box if you have some that you're like, I just want to draw it on a whole piece of paper, get everything to you. I want to list the fragrance and all the things. That's all listed down below. You can get my recipe down below. There's lots of good stuff down below. Follow us on TikTok. Follow us on Instagram. Follow us on Twitter. I tweet once a month. <laughs> Thank you so much to Rakuten for sponsoring today's video. And you guys, be sure to enter the giveaway. Again, $100 cash. Everybody can use a little extra cash right now, okay? Go enter. Woohoo! Check out royaltysoaps.com for all your soapy needs. And I'll see you right back here on the Royalty Soaps YouTube channel this Saturday with another soapy video. And until then, I'll be on the gram. You can find me there. Be sure you do something fun for yourself today, like, I don't know, eating a whole box of Lucky Charms. Maybe not a whole box. You might get sick. Or making Lucky Charms Rice Krispie Treats. Don't believe me that they're the best thing ever? I'll leave you guys a recipe. Try it out. Tell me what you think. And until next time, have an absolutely royal day, and I'll see you guys soon. Bye for now!